Okay, hi, it's Marina again from Florida, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Streamline. So, Streamline is the foundation of everything we do in this sport, so it's crucial, regardless of skill or level, that you have a perfect Streamline. So, I like to think of the Streamline as the striking position. So, you know like a snake when it's about to attack, it's all coiled up, and its muscles are super tight, so you have to think about the Streamline for swimming is like your striking position. You want all your muscles ready so that as soon as you get to the surface, you can explode into that first breakout stroke. So we're gonna build the perfect streamline together today. Um, I do that at all my camps and it's just a step-by-step, -step, top to bottom, perfect streamline. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna stack your hands and lock your thumb, okay? The thumb lock right here is crucial because when you dive in, you want your hands to stay nice and stuck together instead of having them come apart like this. So stack the hands, lock the thumb. Not like this, not like this. Hands pancaked, thumb is locked. Next step, you're gonna squeeze your head with your biceps. So I like to have my arms right behind my ears. So right here, you're squeezing your head with your biceps. Next step, you're gonna pull your shoulders up to your ears. So that reduces the space between your head and your arms. So you squeeze right there, nice tight streamline. Next, we're gonna come out of streamline, we're gonna go like this, like a surfer, like hang loose. You're gonna put your thumb on your chin, and your pinky on your chest and all you're gonna do is push your chin back like you're making a double chin like you're sending an ugly selfie to your friends so you push the chin back that creates a nice straight line on the back of your neck next you're gonna take this put your thumb right that soft spot on the top of your uh, bottom of your sternum and then pinky in your belly button what you want to do is create a smaller length between your thumb and your pinky so you're gonna squeeze them together so the way you do that is you're gonna suck your belly button in and squeeze your butt cheeks. So that way, instead of having a curved spine, you're gonna have a nice flat back right here. So chin back, and then squeeze the belly button in, squeeze the butt, we have a nice flat line from head to lower back. Last thing, we want our legs to be nice and tight. So if we have a nice tight streamline up here, but our legs are like wet noodles, it doesn't really matter. So we wanna squeeze our quads up, and we're gonna have our big toes touching. So we'll build it all together. Stack and lock the thumb, squeeze the head, pull the shoulders up, chin back, belly button sucked, and butt cheek squeeze. And then we're gonna pull our legs together. And now we have a nice, perfect streamline. So try to apply that to everything you do. I like to do a three line streamline off every wall. I make sure I practice it during warm up, warm down, and all through my sets so that I have a perfect line established so that all my breakouts are set up to be really snappy. So hope that helps for today. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.